6 30 a.m 7 30 8 30 9 30 four hours of sleep i feel like a million bucks so from what i understand it's a bit of a tradition at the western states 100 to go the last 30 minutes back to the track to cheer on the final finishers. The cutoff time is 30 hours, so you have to finish before 11 a.m. So it's a tradition to go back and like cheer on the final crews and the final runners coming around the track. So anyway, that's where we're going to. Let's go. All right, we made it to the finish area. There's 19 minutes to go to get under the 30 hour cutoff. Very exciting. All right, let's see who can get in there. 19 minutes. Uh, a gentleman just finished from Fairfax, Virginia. So it's literally runners from all over the United States, all around the world. Amazing. All right, here comes a couple more. Finishers in the last minute. That was insane. The last gentleman, I didn't catch his name, but he had 15 seconds to spare. Uh, the, there was a lot of media, so I'm not sure I got the best shot, but that was amazing. All right, we're off to the award ceremony. Just epic. Oh, and that's what I that's what I was hoping for. Just a really, really close finish. 15 seconds under the 30-hour limit. Oh, so good. So good. actually crushed his own course record, taking 21 minutes off of his 1430 time of last year, uh, finishing in a time of 1409, Jim Walmsley. <laughs>
I think we did it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna sign off from Auburn, California again. What is today? Oh man, it's been a it's been a long weekend. I think today's Sunday. It's Sunday. I'm catching a flight back to Denver, and then I will begin the editing of a more cinematic uh, cut of all this footage. It's probably close to 500 gigabytes at this point, so there's a lot to sift through. Absolutely epic. If you didn't see yesterday's actual race vlog, go check it out, upper right hand corner, and you'll see uh, just some, well, you'll see Claire and Jim a lot because they were out front. And just a huge congrats to all the runners from Jim and Claire all the way down to the last few who squeezed in under 30 hours. And there were a couple others who actually came in over 30 hours and everyone still cheered them across the finish line as well. You just ran 100 miles through the mountains of California. Absolutely inspiring. I'm inspired now. I want to go run right now. So anyway, thanks you for letting all this media coverage happen. All right, off to Denver. Let's go. Pretty neat here on the third page of the Western States booklet. They've got all the entrants for the 2019 race. And at the very top is the one and only Gordy Ainsley, the first ever runner to complete the Western States course. That's just so cool that they, he didn't race, but they, they honor him by putting him in the magazine at the top with bib number zero, because he was the first one to do it. I like that, I like that. All right, see you in Denver. YouTube family, what an incredible trip. And yes, tiring. Oh, it's like 1 a.m. Oh, running off of four hours of sleep. I edited most of the vlog, this one you're watching right now, the award ceremony and everything on the airplane, because I'm about to pass out. And that's why we gotta cut right to the chase for the question of the day and the keyword. I had to think about this on the airplane because I'm just so it's like, they get a little delirious out there, get a little crazy out there. All right, keyword, buckle for the buckles at the Western States 100 and the question of the day. How'd you do? How'd you do on your predictions for the winners of the 2019 Western States 100 and your dark horses, okay? I, uh, I said Matt Daniels, right, was gonna have a good race and he did, coming in fourth. Uh, who else did I look at? Uh, well, I think obviously the big uh, maybe change was on the women's side. So anyway, let us know down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And thank you for coming on this amazing journey, tiring journey. And I got to go to bed. See, beauty, work hard.